Hey, Eat Sleep Dreamers, how are things? I hope you're well. I'm doing great because the sun is finally shining in London, so I'm doing fine. However, I'm inside. The sun is shining outside and I'm here, but why am I here? Well, it's because I wanna make this very, really special video for you guys. Now, before I start, uh, I wanna remind you that I have a very special ebook that I've made for this video with all today's English that you can download for free. Free, okay. I'll tell you more about that uh, ebook at the end of the video. All right. Now today's topic, we're looking at three ways to start a conversation at work. Now I've had so many messages from you guys in emails saying, "Tom, please, can you make videos about English at work or useful phrases that we can use at work?" Now it's incredible how many Eat Sleep Dreamers use English at work. So today we're going to look at three great ways to start a conversation. Now, I'm not talking about kind of, hey, how are you kind of uh, situations. I'm thinking about situations where maybe you want to get your colleagues advice or opinion. Maybe you want to ask them a question or show them um, one of your uh, ideas and get their, their advice. So how do we start those kinds of conversations? Well, I've got three great phrases to help you. All right, so let's have a look at number one. Okay, our first phrase is, have you got a minute? This is a really natural way to ask someone if they have time to talk. Another way to say exactly the same thing is, do you have a moment? Again, it's a really natural way to ask someone if they have time to talk to you. Let's look at one of these in practice. Hey Katie, have you got a minute? And she replies, yes, of course, take a seat. All right, those are lovely natural English phrases, but how do we really say them? Well, do we say it like this? Have you got a minute? Hmm, no, I don't think we say it like that, or at least it just sounds a bit strange. Now, um, I'm gonna say it in my accent, which is a British English accent, specifically from London. Uh, this is the one that I have. You may have a different one, uh, and that's, uh, of course, fine. Uh, there is no right or wrong, okay? But I'm gonna say it how I would say it. Have you got a minute? Have you got a minute? All right, let's have a look at that. So the have you becomes have you, have you, and then got a minute, got a minute, got a, got a. So have you got a minute? Now I'm stressing the got there as well. One more time. Have you got a minute? All right, good job. I hope you're practicing. Uh, let's look at the second phrase. It was do you have a moment? Again, with do and you, I'm blending the sound together, okay? So if from do and you becomes do you. Do you? Do you have a moment? Do you have a moment? Are right, you practice? Do you have a moment? All right, good job. Remember, practice is so important. What you can do is rewind this video, okay, and then play me again and listen and repeat. All right. Now it doesn't matter whether maybe you're on the train or you're walking along, uh, watching the video. Um, be careful where you're walking, of course. It's very important. Safety first. Um, but repeat as you are going. No one around you will think you're crazy. Maybe. Maybe they will. I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't tell. Um, but that's a really useful way to help you improve your pronunciation. Another fantastic way is to record yourself. Okay, so you've got um, a phone. Um, maybe you can uh, video yourself or you can use the voice recorder to record yourself speaking English and then you can listen back to your pronunciation and notice uh, what you're doing really well and maybe what you need to improve. That's a fantastic way to improve your pronunciation. All right, guys, we've watched one. Or we've looked at one useful phrase. Let's look at number two. Okay, let's look at our second phrase, which is, could I have a word? Now, this is a polite way to ask someone if they have time to talk. And usually, you want to do it in private. Let's look at an example. Joe, could I have a word? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's look at the stress of this sentence. Could I have a word? Could I have a word? Okay, the stress is on the last word, which is word. All right, so let's try one more time. Could I have a word? All right, good job, guys. Okay, let's look at number three. Okay, our final phrase is, can I get your help with something? So if you want someone's help, you can ask them this question. 
you don't have to say the with something. That's optional. So you could just say, can I get your help? Other questions you can ask include, can I get your advice about something? Can I get your help with something? Can I get your opinion on something? All right, guys, how was that? I hope you enjoyed it. There's some really useful English phrases there for you. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I have a very special ebook with all today's English that I'd like to give to you guys. All right, all you need to do to get this free English ebook is click the link below. All right, it will take you to a special page where you just need to put your email address and your name and I will send it to you straight away. All right, so remember, click the link below this video to get your free English ebook. Now I have one more request. I would love to know where you guys are watching this video, all right? So in the comments below this video, please write down where you're from, your name and where you're from, um, and I will reply and say hi to you. Um, because we're an English community, an English language learning community, and, uh, and I'd love to get to know you guys. All right, um, and also one last thing is uh, I will release a new video in two weeks time, and it will be showing you how to give someone a compliment. It's gonna be fantastic, I promise. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I love hanging out with you guys. Uh, so see you next time. This is Tom from Eat, Sleep, Dream English saying goodbye.